Hi, I'm Adrian Rogers, Artistic Director for Product Club, and I want to show you one of my favorite glazing techniques, the pinwheel glaze. I've already applied to the base of the hair, about a half inch in, uh, my first color, and I've done that all the way around the head. It's a level six gold. And I've done that because anytime I'm doing a specialized glaze, I like to have a continuous base because it gives a nice uniform look where all of the different features of that glaze technique can show. So this client wears her hair parted on the side, so I'm going to take a nice big section of this and I'm gonna move it out of my way because this will be glazed with my lighter color through the ends. The glaze that I applied on the base, the level six, I'm going to bring through sections of the hair, roots to ends. We're going to alternate every other section in a pie formation moving around the head between the six gold and a nine gold in order to kind of mix that up and give it a little bit of variety. I always want the top section to be the lightest. So this section I'm pulling out, this is gonna start as my nine. So I'm going to move through this section. I'm going to pull up a thinner sliver. Moving from the top, I'm working in pies around the head shape. It really depends on the client's hair texture and density, how large you want to make these sections. Making them too small is too delicate of a move and you're not going to be able to see the effect. So I'm going to take the first section and I am painting the deeper color that matches the base through those ends. And I'm just going to move it out of my way for now for organization purposes. And then I'm going to pivot and I'm gonna grab my next pie section coming through. And I'm going to glaze this with my lighter color. So it's every other section as you float around the head. This looks amazing with coppers. This is great for brunettes. It's a great way to get that expensive brunette trend by doing different layers of glazes for a delicate, but meaningful interpretation of color. So this third one coming through, I'm going back to the dark. And you can see this is a really pretty quick technique. You're able to get through it rather efficiently. I'm just twisting these out and bringing them back. And then my next section is also a nine. As I move further toward the back, my sections of my lighter color get smaller and the darker color gets bigger for more depth through the back of the hair. This is a very easy and efficient technique. This one's bigger now since I'm toward the back, pivoting around. And if you can't catch the ends, I don't usually torture myself. I'll just come through and kind of make sure that they're in there. Now I'm going to drop these down so that we can have each of these sections coming around in order to work that pinwheel around. I'm going to apply the lighter color through the top and a nice big piece so that you can have that float over the top of the hair. Make sure you get good saturation through the hair. I do like to do these sort of techniques on damp hair because I think that it's beneficial to move the color through the hair. And then on this side, I'm gonna do a tiny sliver of depth just to give it a little bit of contrast. Subtle techniques can often be impactful for the client and any way that you can do something a little bit different by moving in a circular method or changing your methodology of application is going to really keep you interested and it's going to keep your clients interested. By utilizing all of these different angles, you're going to get a lot of different effects in the hair because every diagonal is going to affect the motion of the cut in a different way.
This is particularly nice with the bob because of the way that it swings around. But I've also used it really successfully on long hair. It's just beautiful. You can do the tones very close to one another. You could do a six and a seven, or you can stick with something with a little bit more contrast. But because of the sheerness of the glazes, it typically works pretty beautifully in almost all capacities. So as you can see, We have a nice pivot working all the way through the back, glazing this in a pinwheel shape for variation of color and depth throughout the hair.